Hello everybody, this is Rick Rick 5 and welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to be talking about if Trey should be able to make another Call of Duty game or not. So here we go. And to start off, I'm going to be talking about the aiming or the aim mechanics to be exact. So you're probably wondering what is wrong with the aiming, and the answer is it's just bad. And to show you, here are videos of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So the first video on the screen is of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War showing how bad the aim is, and the next video on the screen is of Call of Duty Modern Warfare showing how good the aim is. And so you're probably wondering why this is, and the answer is, I don't know. I mean, you would think they would try and fix the aiming, but no, they don't. I mean, the aiming has been the same since Black Ops 4, and I know a lot of people like the aiming, but that is not the problem. The problem is, just because you add aim assist does not make it good aiming. Aim assist just makes bad aiming better. So now, going back to the videos, Modern Warfare has better aiming than Black Ops Cold War without aim assist, which is just one of the problems with Black Ops Go War. Another problem or problems is that bugs have been in the game since game's release. So here are the bugs. One of the bugs in the game is a bug in the edits game rules menu where you make custom game modes like snipers only and RPGs only. But it won't let you because it sees different weapons as the same weapon, which is just one of the bugs that has been in the game since game's release. Another one is that you can't play Armada or Crossroads offline because it won't let you add bots, which is another bug that has been in the game since game's release. And another one won't let you add bots to zombies, which again is another bug that has been in the game since game's release. So now, with that being said, that is just some of the bugs that I know has been in the game since game's release, but there may be more. So moving forward, here are more problems with the game. One problem that I found in the maps menu where it would not show up all the maps and the only way for it to show up all the maps was to move all four contact packs to the external hard drive and hope the game synced. But with that being said, at the same time you couldn't play gunfight offline on any of the maps because you couldn't add bots. But you also couldn't play express because it's the same reason. But as of February 13th or of or the 14th or I think the 13th or the 14th, it was fixed, so that's good. But that being said, did they fix any more of the problems on February 24th? And the answer is no, they did not. They just added new content, which is good, but not a lot was added. I mean, they added Firebase Z and they added uh, Outbreak, which is really good, but again, they did not fix any of the problems. Just like one of the new problems is where you can't autofill bots or change the difficulty of the bots offline, which is a problem. So did they fix any of the problems on February 26th or 27th? Again, no they did not. They just added a new map, which is this one. And they also even made more bugs, which they did fix with an in-game update. So with that being said, why don't they fix any more of the bugs with an in-game update? And again, the answer is, I don't know. So with that being said, do I think Trax should be able to make another Call of Duty game? No I don't, not unless they get new management because with the past few games like Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 they didn't really fix anything, just like Black Ops Cold War. And before you say they do, they don't. Because a lot of people have messaged them on Reddit and Twitter about the problems and they didn't do anything. And even I reported a bug one time that could get them not only sued for a million dollars but maybe a billion dollars and they still haven't fixed it. So, that being said, that's why I say, not unless they get new management. But what do you think? Do you think they should get new management, or do you think they should be shut down? Just let me know in the comments. And also let me know if you like this video, and if you like seeing me make more videos like this. And also, I plan on making a video letting you know what I'm going to be doing with my channel. So now, as always, that's it for the video, so thanks for watching. Hope all of you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all later.